It's the game for the Dub Magazine Project. Uh-huh. The Dub Magazine Project. Family means the most to me. Ride shotgun with the stars. We are the Far East Movement. Find out what they drive. I'm the biggest boss in this business. And what drives them. It's not about me. At no time is it really about me. Hey, it's your girl, Amber Rose. Door Magazine Project. Shout out. Block. Welcome back to the Dub Magazine Project. Up next, king of California. Matter of fact, king of the whole West Coast. The face of LA, 10 million albums sold, the most hated and the most loved rapper in the world, none other than myself. Check me out. One day I was starting to rap and the next day I had a deal. wasn't so heavily into rap until N.W.A. came on the scene. And I guess, you know, I gravitated towards their music like everybody else did in America. Ice Cube's early work, Tupac hit the scene heavy, and then right after that, Cat Named Notorious B.I.G. came about with Juicy. And that was it. After that, I just, I loved hip-hop. It was kind of, it all happened kind of fast for me. I got signed to Dre. With his hand on my shoulder, I kind of just, I went, man. And I seen Eminem walking through the studio and Snoop and Nate Dogg, Busta Rhymes, and all those cats just kind of um, feeling what I was doing. I kind of knew at that point that I was going to be a force to be reckoned with. I grew up in a crib neighborhood, but for the most part, my older brothers was bloods. It was kind of weird, man, because I always had to walk across the tracks through, like, every gang hood damn near in Compton to get to school, man. Lost a host of homies, two brothers, man. I got shot myself and then uh, kind of righted my wrongs and, you know, became who I am today, which is gang. Sporty LA, you ever in LA? This is where you get your kicks from. Okay. Air Tatos. No. This is my size. So ladies, you already know what's up. I'm not a backpack rapper, but I, you know, I keep wisdom. I'm not the East Siders, but I bang, you know, my, my set. I wear red, but, you know, sometimes I wear blue. I came along and I kind of made it cool to say blood and cuz in the same sentence. My man. I think at the end of the day, when my career is said and done, that people will give me a lot more props for the things that I've done. The best moment is being able to have my kids not grow up where I grew up. They do it for me, man. My kids are so cool and they're so smart. I don't believe in hitting them or whooping them. Sometimes you do gotta, you know, raise your voice a little bit or kind of, you know, make a mean mug and keep them in line. But other than that, man, the motivation of my kids is all I need, man. I love them to death. I ain't nothing without my children. Man, we eating yogurt. That's exactly. That's what we doing. No brain freeze, man. I'm a pro. I think about how I would fare in every era of the black people. And I kind of think that this is the era for me. When I'm 70 years old, everybody's grandpa is gonna have tattoos. It's the era where you can dye your hair or just be free. Yeah, that's that velvet. That's that red velvet. That's that red velvet cake. Yeah. <laughs>